May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we're getting a look at a new program called Mightier. It uses video games to teach kids how to manage their emotions and behavior. So Dr. Jason Kahn is here to tell us more about it. He is the co-founder and chief science officer at Mightier and is a researcher at Boston Children's Hospital, and he's also an instructor at Harvard Medical School. Thanks for joining us. Um, so we say, you know, video game, but this is so much more than that. Can you just start by explaining exactly how Mightier works? What's the experience that the child's going to be having? Absolutely. I mean, I think it's start, important to start by talking about how Mightier builds emotional regulation skills. So for people who aren't familiar with that, emotional regulation is this lifelong skill that children build that helps them thrive. And the way Mightier does that is by letting children interact with their emotions. So they actually, they wear a heart rate monitor while they play that heart rate monitor lets them use their emotions and play with their emotions inside the concept, inside the context of video games. We know video games are really fun for kids, but they also provide challenge just like life. And so as they face these challenges in my year, they get prompted and helped to practice calming down and practice regulation skills and they build them through, through practice. Um, so I'm like somewhat familiar with this because I remember years ago, playing, for lack of a better word, a video game like this for adults to sort of teach you about meditation. And um, it, it really is sort of impactful when you can visually see reinforcement that indeed something is happening. Because sometimes when you sort of think calming thoughts, it's, you're not aware of whether or not your physiology is being affected. You know, am I doing this right, basically? Um, and so when you can get that feedback visually, your, it increases your commitment to following the practice, you know? So, it, but, it, but this looks way more fun than when I did. What I did was all about like, you know, meditation and breathing. This looks fun. Um, and, the, yeah, so, and the great thing, I'm, sorry, what were you gonna say? <laughs> no, I mean, these are inside video games. I was agreeing with you. Yes, this is a lot of fun. Um, and so the thing about it is that it's really, you know, there's a science base here. You did a lot of trials to get to this point. Tell me what you found out. Yeah, I mean, we've done multiple randomized controlled trials, and what we've seen is kids who have diagnoses like ADHD or autism, their symptoms improve. They get better at managing their frustration. They get man better at managing their aggression. They get better at managing their anger. The other thing that we've seen, which is really exciting to me, is that the family environment improves. So mm. what we see is that parents feel less stress as they as their child is playing these video games. Um, so I mean, is this the future, do you think, of this sort of this sort of sort of behavioral intervention? Is this where the field is going? I think it has to. Yeah. So I think a lot of people know right now there is there is just a shortage of people who can help take care of the mental health of both children and adults. And we're losing people in the field faster than people are coming in. And so what we need is we need interventions like my dear that can be in your home within two days after starting mm -hmm. and really start building the same type of skills that you'd be building in therapy, but do it in a way that's fun and engaging and going to want to keep you coming back uh, so that you can thrive, yeah. uh, even if you're waiting for other services. And there's so much value in teaching a child how to self-soothe giving a child the tools to sort of bring the temperature down, whether it's breathing or counting. And it's not just about, and you can tell me, because you're the doctor, it's not just about giving them the tools to, to calm down, it's that giving them those tools gives them the confidence that they need to know that if things get out of control, they can handle it. Absolutely, like that's one of the things that Mightier really does well, is that it lets you see that during those moments of challenge, you have the power with inside of you. You have the strength inside of you to calm yourself down. And I think to your point, Anne-Marie, like as children build this skill, uh, it's a lifelong skill. Yeah. And children who build this skill up, no matter where they start, like they have better academic outcomes, better social outcomes, even better health outcomes later in life. Um, that's why Mightier is such a good name. And, and you know, just a suggestion, you might want to develop something for, for adults because uh, I know a few people who, who could use this. We're always on our phone. Might as well be getting something more out of it uh, for our mental health. Uh, Dr. Jason Kahn, thank you so much. Thank you.